In this video, I'm going to give a little introduction on MongoDB and Mongoose, which is a, a MongoDB driver for Node. So at this point, I assume you'll already know MySQL, which is pretty standard uh, database environment, and that you're looking into to stuff like Mongo. Okay, so the, the important thing to note before I get started is that uh, Mongo handles stuff differently than, than MySQL, where in MySQL you define tables where you stuff your, your, all your, your data in, and in your queries you link those tables together. In, in Mong Mongoose, there, you just define documents, and yeah, that's it really, that's all there is to it. Um, so I made a little, little website, a little project, a couple of uh, days ago I finished it, and it's, uh, it gathers tweets, and it shows some statistics about the tweets uh, for a certain hashtag. So um, the first version was in, in MySQL, and uh, this is PHP my admin, which is a pretty standard MySQL tool. And uh, so what I did before I got started on the code, I um, I went to PHP my admin, I made a new database, and I defined the structure for the table. In this case, it's just one table because it's just stored tweets. Um, I could have chosen to also store the users, but I I choose I, I did choose not to. Um, so so this is really 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 simple easy project. Um, but. I was like, I, I was thinking about what, what, what stuff I needed to to uh, to store, and then I tried some things out, and I gathered some tweets, and and I found out that I needed to store different data, so I need to like empty the whole the the whole table, um, rechange structure, and then fill it again, which is like a pain because I was trying to yeah because I wanted to code and I didn't want to 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 be messing with my database around all the time. So, uh, so what I did uh, after I finished it, I looked into Mongo and I refactored it to Mongo. And now, instead of uh, de defining your table in an in, in an uh, in, a, in something like PHP mapping, you just do it in the code. So what you see over here is um, let me just fix this real quick. This one too. Um, which here is a schema defined by a mongoose for MongoDB. Even though MongoDB is schemeless which means there is no structure for all your documents, so all your documents can, can look different. Uh, but I find it handy because then I know that all my tweets have, have a body, have a username, has a user ID, and I don't have to check for that. Um, you can also make those checks like validations, like fully automatic, but this is such a small project that I just defined a scheme, so I know everything is there. Um, so even though it's pretty similar to MySQL right now, I, I can do it on the code here. So even though there is no database and there is no table, which is called a collection in Mongo, uh, you can just define the code and if it doesn't exist, it creates it and else it connects to it. And uh, so it's pretty simple. Um, so at the top, I require Mongoose, which is installed by, by running, uh, let me go to the console, npn install Mongoose, which will install it on your current directory. Um, and then, then you just require it, um, and yeah, and then I make a pointer to the scheme uh, object, which uh, yeah, uh, which let me define the scheme real easily. So I say the body is type string. So here you have the the, the keys are the the keys of your object, so to say. So um, the keys are uh, the the column names, if you if you compare it to MySQL. And uh, the values over here are the, the types. So you have a couple of uh, JavaScript types and Mongoose will take care of converting them all to, to the MongoDB types, which I guess are pretty similar, maybe the same. But um, and you can also do some things like, I wanted to index and the index needs to be unique. So therefore I can just stuff all tweets I, I catch in, into the database and Mongoose will, will figure out which it already has and which it hasn't. It w won't error anything. Just it's pretty similar to insert ignore on MySQL. Um, yeah, so this is a basic scheme, and uh, that's all there is to it to defining your database or the structure of your database. Um, so when I uh, when I want to query it, for example, let me show you some things in the console real quick. So uh, this is Mongoose, and Mongoose is a layer on top of MongoDB. Uh, so it's pretty. Uh, it can be pretty difficult because I'm showing two new things at once. But now I'm going to show you some things about Mongo. Oh, let me uh, get to my VPS. Okay, so Mongo has a, a, a shell interface, just like MS, uh, MySQL does. And uh, the queries I'm going to do here are Mongo queries and not Mongoose queries, um, which are pretty similar but a little different. So, uh, for example, I need to use the 
the good database, the correct database where I store my data. This is CMDA, which is a code name for my uh, uh, project thing. Um, and then I can just say DB, and then the name of the collection, which is tweets. So if I define um, something called tweet over here, I hear I say mongoose model tweet. Um, it's going to be of the scheme tweet, which I defined over here. Um, if you type it like this uh, and you stuff data into it, it will create the collection called tweets. So um, find is the same as select all. And you need, uh, I'm not sure if you need to pass it anything. No, you don't. Um, so when I press find, I just get everything. This is like select star from all, or a select star from table name. And then um, and just, I just I I get JSON back as you can see. So I'm not sure if it stores JSON JSON internally or just uh, converts it uh, for 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 uh, giving it back to me. Um, but you can also do some things like uh, like count, which uh, is pretty obvious in what it does. Um, and it's it's pretty. B straightforward and basic and um, it, it's different in MySQL in a way that uh, in the way you handle relations and queries and you don't have to do inner joins because everything you need to know about a document uh, about something which is called a document is already in the document so you don't need to match tags on, on in a tags table to your post and, and do some complicated stuff in your queries because it's all in, in, in your document so in, in most cases it, it makes a lot of sense to do, do it like this and you can also do things like find, um, for example, let's uh, the, the let, let me check a username real quick. Where is the username? Uh, there's a, here's a username. So for example, I can find a username and then say username, and it should return a document because she uh, this this user only uh, uh, tweeted once or I stored just one tweet in the database so let me check another one with uh, let me check my one for example I think I did more yeah yeah okay so here this this is like a select star from table where username is Mike from Wassum which is my Twitter Twitter name um, so you can do do basic stuff like this to do more advanced stuff like sorting and 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 you can do really advanced queries uh, i'm not getting uh, um, i'm got, not going to show that in the introduction mostly because i don't know myself yet so uh, this is mongodb and now let me show you how to do it in the code with mongoose uh, so here i define the scheme and in my uh, application at the top i uh, Im import the thing and um i i redefine the the, the model tweet which I also did that here so here you can say I create it and then over here you can here, here I get it again and this is the object I can use to query the database so for example if you want everything just like uh, I just showed you before the, the shell and you just say um, for example what's a good example uh, tweets per day um, tweets per day is an API call at my website. Let me show it real quick. Uh, yeah, over here. So when um, when I uh, type in tweets per day in my application, it will return to me a JSON with uh, with all days defined as a, as an object. So therefore, I can create this graph real easily, or a plugin I use can create this graph real easily. Um, and so what I do, I, I get all the uh, the tweets from the database, and then I I um, sort them based on the day which where they are and then I count the amount of tweets per day basically so therefore it's called tweets per day so I would do it is I just get all the tweets so I say tweet find and then I give a pass the callback because it's async because everything is async in node and then I, I say I return a JSON of the, the tweets which first gets sorted by day which is a function I, I've, I've written over here which um, We'll divide all the tweets over the days and pass it and, and the day time and um, prepare the JSON so that I can just feed it to my graph plugin and it works. Um, so, but this isn't really Mong Mongoose stuff because it's just like uh, me handling an array of objects. So, um, for example, a little uh, a little more difficult example is. Uh, 
bijvoorbeeld, I need to get the, uh, the, the oldest and the newest. So there, then I can create, then I can calculate the time span. Because here I have a couple of facts about the collection. So um, here you can see the time span. Here you can see the, the, the date of the first tweet. So you can see how long I'm measuring and stuff. And here you can see the tweets per day. Which is different than, yeah, which is actually, actually it's the same. Because tweets per day per, uh, give back a bunch, uh, um, a, a collection of days uh, with, with tweets counted into them. And tweets per day over here just provide an average of all the days. So these should, I'm not sure if that's the case, but the, 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 this should correspond with the data you see over here. So um, I need to get the, the, the newest, for example. And this is a pretty... Pretty difficult query, I think. Um, so this is the query, which um, basically it says find one, which is an, a shortcut for mongoose knowing I just need one record. And then I pass it uh, a sort. But it only gives me the top result because I only want one. And it sorts it based on created at, which is the, which is a date object, a JavaScript date object. You can also sort date objects. I'm pretty sure they get converted, but, but maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I can use it to to sort on it, so so it's fine by me. And uh, to get the oldest, I just um, I sort it at created at one and minus one for the newest. I'm not sure sure how, why that is. Um, and for example, to to calculate the time span, I just uh, I just get the newest and I get the oldest and I and I uh, subtract them. And then I divide them by a, by a bunch of numbers, so I get the days instead of the seconds, or the milliseconds. Um, so yeah, and here's another one, because I want to know how much unique users you, we have. Um, or how much unique users there are of all the tweets in my collection. So I say tweet distinct, which is pretty similar to MySQL distinct. And then the user ID, which is just um, a key in the object, of in the document, I should say. And then I execute query, all the tweets with a distinct user ID, and then I just return just the length of the array I get back. Um, so this is pretty basic stuff, I guess, but uh, I really recommend that you check out the, the documentation on the Mongoose website. Uh, so for example, for the queries, they have really extended documentation on how to sort things and do advanced queries and stuff. Um, much more advanced than what I just showed now, which is just basic stuff. Um, so yeah, if you, you should definitely check it out.